This is the forgotten data vaults scenario. Um, took some inspiration from a, a scenario from the game Frostgrave, um, one of the very early scenarios in that book called The Graveyard. So you can probably see where this is going. Um, I've set up the board uh, as an example of um, how you might run this scenario. And I've used the uh, tiles from the um, Death Watch uh, board game, which I have totally forgotten the name of. Um, and what I've done is laid out um, an entry point, which you can see on the bottom right, um, for one of the inquisitorial forces to arrive from, and a um, computer hacking data point top left. Um, just got the section from the old uh, Promethean Pipes kit. Games Workshop's Promethean Pipes. And you'll probably recognise a few of their other um, Promethean Pipes and uh, Sector Mechanicus bits that I've put in there with some terrain as well as a few barrels and a couple of Necromunda um, barricades just to add a bit more of um, uh, stuff to hide behind, some cover. And then I've labelled the entrance points, one to six. So the, um, the basics of this scenario is there were two forces um, looking for the information in this data vault. The first is in the top left corner and they have found the data and they are going to extract it. And in the bottom right um, that force is trying to stop them, trying to take the data for themselves. Um, whatever the players, uh, however the players want to um, come up with their own motivation for the battle. Okay, so uh, here I have my um, two missionaries who have taken the data from this um, computer terminal. Now, as a games master, you might decide to um, have them start rolling to see if they can get the data from the terminal. Um, I probably should have said at the beginning I haven't really play tested this. Um, unfortunately due to uh, Covid rules and not getting many games in at the moment. Just trying to theorise ideas. Um, but I thought making them roll uh, and the, the too many times, so too many failures, I imagine they'll get mobbed up by the tech thralls which are about to come on, or the other inquisitorial force quite quickly. Um, so if you are going to do that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make them test for more than two turns. Okay. So then here's our forces. up there uh, against our uh, against our missionaries that have got the data um, and what I've done is just set them up a little computer terminal there um, so if uh, characters don't have any sort of tech um, or the uh, the hacker interface as I mentioned in the statistics um, you could try and hack the tech thralls from there, uh, from these computer points. So either this one at the beginning, or the um, or the uh, main section on the top left, the main computer terminal. And what I'd say is the shutting down a um, tech thrall could happen individually. Okay, so here they are 
as they appear on the board with two black arrows pointing them out. And what I've done is actually started with one tech thrall in each quadrant. So um, in the middle, top and bottom, and bottom left, each contain one tech thrall. So it might be that they, the first thing the inquisitorial agents want to do is shut down one of them or perhaps fight their way through. So every turn, what I would suggest, uh, either as a um, games master, you decide how many to bring on, or um, just start with a minimum of two uh, and see how they get on. And you'll probably guess this by the numbers around the edges, they indicate which um, which side the tech falls are coming on. So they're coming into this forgotten data tomb to protect uh, this forbidden knowledge that's been long lost or they were set up by a, a heretic to guard it. Um, and so every turn more of them are going to appear um, in a standard sort of zombie scenario. Inquisitorial agents can then choose either to take them out by hand or shut them down using uh, any tech equipment they've got. Uh, using the barrels as cover, using the various uh, scenery pieces as cover, you as a games master might decide that the barrels have corroded or got explosive um, Explosive contents, so you might decide to go for uh, some extra explosive barrel, exploding barrels rules. And hopefully, at the end, you get a satisfactory scenario where the two sets of inquisitorial agents will meet, and um, one will be victorious, or perhaps both of them will uh, be taken down by the swarm of tech thralls. But hopefully it gives you a nice interesting narrative and satisfying um, little scenario. So thanks for watching. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on the scenario itself or just on this general presentation of the video. This channel is obviously very new so any likes and subscriptions would mean quite a lot to me. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.